Good morning, good morning. It's good to be with you again this morning. And I just wanted to uh, bring the little message that the Lord has, um, has, has given me this morning to share with you. Um, as always, um, every morning, I just come on live and share a little message with you. And uh, the, the, the title of the message uh, this morning is called The Lamp, The Lamp, I called it. And I was just thinking um, again about darkness. I know I talked about this a little while ago, but this is coming from a different kind of way. Um, quite a few, quite a few years ago, probably about twenty years ago, we were driving um, with a caravan, and we took it in turns to drive. You know, in the night time, Nick drove the earlier part of the night time, and I drove like much later on through the night. And uh, I, I, I was going to park up the vehicle in the caravan to change over driving with Nick because it was about sort of five o'clock in the morning, and. Um, I went. I was just about to reverse the car caravan to where I thought it was safe, and because it was dark and we didn't see properly, if I'd have been about three or four feet over, the caravan would have gone right over uh, a ramp that was like a ramp thing with about you know two or three feet that was down. So God really protected us, and we were able to. I was able to reverse the caravan and and the car, you know, just safely. And so it made me realise we can't always see in the darkness without, you know, properly with our eyes. And another time, um, this is a, more of like a little funny story. Um, I was out coming home one night. This was, again, it was a long time ago. And all of a sudden it was pitch black and I saw this little pair of eyes that were like shining. And I could hear this noise and it was a little hedgehog. And I was able to pick him up and bring him back and give him something to eat and give him some milk and let him go the next day. So I'm just sort of like bringing that in as a little... Um, a little bit of a story but anyway I'm talking about the lamp this morning and uh, you know if we're walking at night right we need we need with a torch we need to you know we need to keep walking and shining that torch but if the battery if the battery goes out and it's very dark right our eyes need to adjust to the dark they do because they go all funny don't they they need to adjust to the dark but we should be able to see enough to continue depending on where we are and how dark it is. You know, normally your, your eyes are just a little bit and you can just about carry on. You have to be careful where you put your feet and you just have to watch where you're going. But, you know, you can more or less carry on. And as I said, our eyes adjust and we can see things. See, the amazing thing is our eyes adjust and we can see things we may not have seen with the torch. Because when you shine a torch, um, there's a beam in a certain area, then there's a beam in another area. And it's just where the beam actually shines out. But if, if we haven't got the torch and the batteries run out, our eyes start to see things in the darkness. Maybe the torch didn't. So um, its brightness covers certain areas we shine it on. The same is said of the Psalms. You know, the Psalms in the Bible. Apart from God, apart from God, we are walking in the dark. Spiritually speaking, I don't want to walk in the dark, do you? And we can only see a little way in front of us. As I was, as I was just explaining, in, in the you know the physical sort of realm, as we trust Jesus and follow His way, our path becomes easier. Our path becomes easier to see, and we learn from the Word of God. We want to be people that learn from the Word of God because it gives us strength, it builds us up, it really helps us in our daily walk with the Lord. So, you know, God wants to build us up in His Word, and it also teaches us how we should live our lives. Because you see, if, if we depend on God, he can show us how we, how we should live our lives, right? Because that is really important. And how, how we should treat other folk. Because it's a whole new way of learning. And if we're in the darkness, you know, the Lord wants to bring us into the light. And he wants to change how we are and how we live uh, as we um, focus on him and his word. The Lord can show us where we go and what to do. You know, he wants to direct us. He wants to show us. The Lord can bring us to safety. You know, if we're worried and anxious about anything, the Lord can bring us to safety. That's what that's what that's what his word says. That's who he is. He can bring us to safety. And and just to encourage us today, we are like a lighthouse. You know, a lighthouse is really tall. It's got, a you know, the light on the top of it and it spins around. And because it's so tall, you know, any, any ships that are in distress can see the lighthouse. Any boats, they can see the light spinning around. And it's, it's like a source of comfort. It's a source of help. And, and we are like the lighthouses for the Lord. Um, to those in darkness and you know we can bring hope to people during their storms because people are, are are going through many storms and I dread to think well that must be like without Jesus it must be really difficult so we can be people that can be like lighthouses that can guide and lead them and bring them hope 
and bring them encouragement and tell them about the Lord. So in the darkness and in their storms, we can bring hope to them. The Bible lights a pathway for us. It lights a pathway for us to follow. And sometimes we might need to put down our torch. We might need to just put our torch down and let the Lord adjust our spiritual eyes to see in it, to see ourselves and to see the way forward in a new light. So sometimes it, it, instead of trying to depend on our on ourselves, which we are, we are some of us, we are self-sufficient and we like to try and, you know, solve things and do things. And that's not a bad thing. But sometimes that can overtake our, our relationship and our walk with the Lord. We can try and sort of, you know, rush ahead or, you know, do things our own way or try things our own way. And the Lord just might want us to come and say, look, here, give me the torch. Give me the torch. Hand it over to me. And I'll, I'll lead you on the right path. I'll show you. I'll direct you by my spirit. I will help you to see with, with, you know, with your spiritual eyes. And, you know, and, and God just wants to keep encouraging us in, in who we are in him and in his word today. And I, I just found some lovely um, little passages uh, this morning. Uh, well, actually, last, yesterday as I was looking this up to share this morning because um, I normally prepare the day before, pray about it and ask God to prepare the day before. And so um, the first little passage I want to share is uh, in Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Uh, I love this this verse, Psalm 119, and it's, um, where are we, Psalm 119, and it's verse 105, and it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Isn't that wonderful? So we can depend on the Lord. We can depend on his word. It says it, it's, a, it, it's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We can't struggle and strive in our own strength. But if we rely on Jesus and we rely on his words, I've already said, he can actually show us the way ahead. And his word is, is like a light, his word, because his word is truth. And his word speaks to us in everyday situations. His word shows us what we should say, what we should do, how he can help us. And there's just so much. Um, it's like having a whole great big uh, chest of, of all different types of, of precious gemstones and precious jewellery that's like the word of God it's so um, powerful and he wants us to keep hold hold of that word and to take hold of of that word every day he says that you know his, his word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path and I was still looking at this um this Psalm 105 uh, sorry Psalm 119 and I'm going to go to um another little verse um it's, it's a very long one this one so um, I, I haven't got time to read it all this morning, but it's a very long one. And I just want to go to another little verse with you uh, this morning. And this is um, verse 130, verse 130. The, un the unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pants and uh, longing for your commands. So the unfolding of your unwrap a present when you unwrap something when you unwrap something can you unfold it you know that that that's that's you know that's almost like God wants to unfold his word he wants to unpack his word he wants to unfold it to us so let's just start to take hold of some of these passages today sorry if I was um getting a bit distracted my phone was actually ringing and I was trying to keep going and ignore the phone call um and then in Proverbs 6 23 Proverbs 6 23 there's another lovely little passage here Proverbs 6 23 and it says, for these commands are a lamp. This teaching is a light and the correction of the discipline. The correction of the discipline are the way to life. For these commands are, are a lamp. These teachings is a light and the correction of discipline. So, so again, it's talking about the word being light. And sometimes we, you know, we, 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 we need to be reproved. We need to be taught things. And the Lord wants to just do that through his word. And I'm talking a lot about the word of God. But it's really important, you know, to talk about that because that, that is our main sort of strength. It's our main thing, isn't it? As we walk in our daily walk with God. And I want to go back to um, Psalm 19, verse 8. Psalm 19, um, verse 8. Psalm 19, verse 8 says, The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. So the precepts of the Lord are right giving joy to the heart, the commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. So again, it's just talking about the word of God, you know, um, the commandments, you know, God's pure word. The word is a, the word is a light. Um, we need to just take hold of that word. And, and, and one of the reasons the enemy tries to, to stop us is because he knows how powerful the word of God is. He knows how powerful our relationship with Jesus is because our relationship with Jesus is like a real powerhouse. 
And it, it just is so powerful. And so the enemy will try to come in and he will try to disrupt and affect our relationship with God. And, and what we have to do is we have to stand with Jesus. We have to stand close to him. We have to stand on the word. We have to pray. We have to keep strong because um, and if we do that, we'll, we'll, we'll be overcomers. And if we need help, you know, get, let's get let's ask for prayer. Let's get prayed for. But the Lord wants us to take hold of his word because that's that's what this is about. And then I've just got one other passage here. It's 2 Peter, 2 Peter 1.19. 2 Peter 1.19. And it says, And we have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you will, you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Isn't that, one, isn't that a wonderful um, verse there? So this is, a, this is a sure word from the Lord. And, you know, we, we have warnings here. We have warnings. Uh, we need to pay attention, you know, because there's so many lies going on out there in the world. And we need to pay attention to the truth of what the word of God says and who we are in Christ. We need to pay attention. And we're warned here, you know, to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place. So the word is a light and the Lord wants to bring people out of spiritual darkness and he wants to bring a spiritual dawning upon our lives. And, and for some of us, we've already experienced that. But God wants to still bring even more light in our lives and hearts. And it's as we draw closer to him and draw closer to his word that we will know, you know, that more closeness. It's that enlightenment. It's that enlightenment. And you know something? People can, can be religious. They can say all kinds of religious prayers and things. I'm not trying to condemn people for doing that. But the thing that speaks to our heart the most is when the Holy Spirit comes and, and speaks a word into our hearts and, and speaks a prayer, speaks a Bible passage, speaks a worship song. When somebody might feel as they've been praying, God has given them a word to share with us and that person shares the word. So let's just be open to, to the Lord and to what he wants to say to us in, in the days and weeks ahead. Um, because that is so important. We can't rely on ourselves, but we can rely on Jesus. You know, he is faithful to the end. When the road is rough and steep, fix your eyes upon Jesus. We need to fix our eyes upon Jesus and turn our eyes upon Jesus. So, Lord, I do just want to pray for this message today, Lord. I just want to thank you for this word that I've been sharing with the folk here that, that are coming on live, and I'll put it out. We thank you for the truth in your word. We thank you that you enlighten us. We thank you that you guide and direct us. We thank you that you're all around us, that you're with us, that you're for us. And we want to take hold of you afresh today. We want to take hold of our relationship with you. And nothing can, nobody is going to stop us and hold us back from moving forward in the power and in the name of Jesus. We move forward in who we are in you, not in our weaknesses, but we move forward in the power and victory because we are overcomers um, by the blood of the Lamb. And we thank you, Lord, for, for all you're going to do in our lives, in our families, in our churches in the Christian ministries in this nation, in Europe and in the world. We give you praise and glory in advance for what you're going to do. It's no longer I that live, but Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus, and we thank you. Amen. Amen. It's wonderful to see um, folk on watching this morning. and It just blesses me so much when people come on live. Thank you so much for watching. And what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll post this on in case you need to watch the whole thing again or in case anyone else does. But I'm sending you lots of love. And I will send a little message to you in another little while. Um, but thank you for watching and sending you lots of love. God bless you all. Take care now. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock again in the morning. Bye-bye.